back to UI class. Last time we have demonstrated how to carry out correlation analysis of two variables, such as house prices of two countries. However, in many situations, there will have more than one factor. So instead of just analyzing the effect of one variable on the other, how about if we have more than one factors and how can we analyze the individual effect of each variables on the dependent variable? So today, I'm going to show you how to make use of Excel's regression function to analyze about individual factors effect. So here is the sample data, assuming that Today, we are interested to understand about the effect of four area, number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms of a house on its house price. So we collect more than 20,000 transactions data of each house price and its corresponding four area in square meters, number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms in this data set. And I provide a link for you to download the data set to follow today's regression analysis. So say for example, in house number six, it was sold at $1.064 million with four area of 240 square meter, three bedrooms and two bathrooms. How can we analyze the individual effect of each four area, number of bedroom and number of bathrooms on house price? Based on last time's demonstration, we can, of course, put scatter ports of each variables to check about their correlation. Say, for example, this scatter port shows the relationship between house price and four area. It shows a strong positive relationship as expected. And the best fit line shows the equation here. Unfortunately, it does not control the other two variables and it can be distorted by the effect of other two variables. So instead of using correlation coefficient or scatter ports, this time we are going to use Excel's regression function. The research question is, how do four area number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms of a house affect house price? So we make it become these equation to estimate by regression, which is house price equals to a constant plus the coefficient B times four area plus coefficient C times number of bedrooms plus coefficient D times number of bathroom and an error term. So it can be estimated the coefficient A, B, C, D can be estimated by using Excel's regression function with the dependent variable of Y taken as the house price and the independent variable X as four area, number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms. So let me show you how to do that. In Excel, on the top ribbon, click data function. And then on the top right, corner, the top ribbon, click data analysis. And there are many analysis tools available and scroll down, you will find the regression function. Then click OK. Y range would include the house price information. So I can include the headers. And there are 22,875 transactions included. And then the X range, similarly, I include the header and three columns. Then I click a label because the top rows, other labels, and you can choose to output range. And maybe let's say a new worksheet, then click OK. The result is shown here. So the results look like this. It report about the R square. That's the explanatory power of the, this model. It's about 34.5%. And the number of observations is 22,874. 
And the most importantly, the coefficient a, that's the intercept, and then each of the coefficients for each variables are estimated. They are var variable b, c, and d correspondingly. And they are statistically significant as reported by the a very tiny magnitude of the p-value. So what does it mean? Let me show you an example. So in example one, let's say if a house with 100 square meter for area, two bedrooms, one bathroom, then the estimated house price by this model will equal to this equation by putting these variables into the brackets. And the estimated house price of this house, number one, will be about 745,000 something. Well, in example two, let's say another house with 300 square meter for area, three times bigger, four bedrooms, doubling the number, and also three bedrooms, then the price will be expected to be much higher. So based on the same equation, putting in all these variables, and you will find that the estimated house price increased to $1.698 million, more than double. So this is how to make use of Excel's regression functions to estimate multiple variables effect on a dependent variables. Uh, just in case, if you click data function and you do not find data analysis button on the top right corner, it means you haven't add on this function. So if that is the case, then you have to click file, options, add in, analysis tool pack, VBA, and click go. Then here you take the analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack VBA and OK. Then after installing the add-in, then go back to this data and you will find data analysis button is available now. Good luck. Thank you. That's all for today.